Today has become a huge part of Western media in recent years, and a common issue I notice when it comes to the Western audience for anime is how a lot of women will talk about how female characters are horribly written a lot of the time. Only being used as fan service and having no real personality, and that they are only used to please the male viewers. Now I'd like to say that yes, there are badly fe written female characters in shonen anime, but there are also poorly written male characters in anime as well. For example, Deku from My Hero Academia. Now I already know that I'm going to anger everyone with this video. I'm well aware and I'm well prepared for that. Now, the reason Deku is a poorly written protagonist stems from the fact that he really isn't all that interesting past the first season. And that's simply because there are other characters far better than him that have far more compelling storylines. It also doesn't help that Deku has a similar goal Naruto has, which is being the number one hero, whereas Naruto wants to be the next Hokage, the biggest and best uh, ninja around, which, you know, kind of similar similar goals, if you don't see what I mean there, you see the correlation, it's kind of a similar kind of thing, want to be the best, is pretty much the idea, right, want to be the very best, just like Ash Ketchum. And most rather put their attention on something new rather than the same story they already seen. Now I am aware Deku has a different story route later on in the manga, so they do change a little bit of things here and there, but I'm solely speaking about early on in the series, not later on. The next poorly written male character in shonen anime I'd like to bring up is Tanjiro Kamado. Though, why is he poorly written you may ask? Well, unlike Deku, he actually starts off really well, he shows his growth in his character as a whole, and he betters his skills more and more, beating stronger foes along the way. But you may think, if he started off so promising, why did he fail? Well, eventually he becomes too strong, and his plot armor shines through way too much. He manages to fight high-level demons after we already find out he hasn't even recovered from his previous battle. So you're telling me he goes through these powerful demons like it's nothing. There is so much missing growth here. I guess it's not bad character writing in terms of overall character, but it's bad from a power scaling perspective. Now, an example of a bad female character is Sakura. Now, my knowledge on Naruto as a series is lacking, but the research I have done with her character tells me that she never properly developed. In the beginning of the series, she's a arrogant and mean-spirited person towards Naruto and anyone who wants Sasuke. Now, her being boy crazy and flawed at the beginning of the series is perfectly fine, because now you have the chance to make her slowly progress as a character, so then by the end of the series, she can become a better, more evolved person and maybe even move on from Sasuke, who had no interest in her anyways. But instead, she ends up marrying him and getting her happily ever after, which is, in all honesty, very forced. Which also, by the way, in the series, Sasuke was the one thing preventing her from properly progressing, literally. Her whole character was her obsessed with Sasuke, and don't get me wrong, she progressed and became better with her skills, but her personality still wasn't all that great, and that right there would be a valid critique on poorly written female characters. Because what holds her back from being a good character is her being obsessed with a boy. But what I find sad is that when people bring up poorly written female characters is when they never mention the actual good female written characters that could combat the argument that female characters are poorly written. You see, even if a character is well written and strong, there is one factor that seems to ruin it for people, and that is the fan service that these female characters provide. And that gets me into the good female character, Urza Scarlet. Now I'm well aware fans of anime are not the f that fond of fairy tale, it's your basic anime that seems to have no consequences. But even with the show's power of friendship saves all flaws, there is some good writing in the show and that shines a lot with Urza. 
strong and confident and even holds her own the best compared to tons of other male characters in the show purely by her sheer will to protect who she cares about. And the best part is, she isn't a stone-faced and bitter person who is strong and independent. She has emotions. She's been through so much pain that we as a viewer can understand and relate to. And her going through the trauma she has been through made her into a heroic and honorable person she later became when she got older. But even with her being a female character done right, you will still have others that don't like that she has been sexualized or still likes feminine things. But no matter what, she is the peak example that you don't need a bland and independent female character to be strong. But that you can write a female character to be interesting and fun while also writing her to be strong. But then you'll see many get upset of the fact that shonen anime is led by mostly male protagonists. And that's where I can tell you that shonen itself is geared towards males. So when you watch something that's geared to the male demographic, expect to watch something that's meant to appeal to the male fantasy. I wrote a blog post a while ago about why I f***ing hate video games because this is what it does, it appeals to like the male fantasy. And I know that sounds like that um, Buzzfeed clip, but this is quite literally what it's meant for. Though if you want to watch something that is geared to a female audience, you have shoujo, but the problem with that is it tries to appeal to what they think women want in a show, geared towards them. And so if you are a woman who likes shonen and not shoujo, you're gonna consider the flaws that female characters have in the medium that is targeted to appealing men. However, this doesn't mean you need to give up on female characters in shonen. Like I said, there are examples of good female characters. You just need to learn to, instead of focusing on if a female character is a good female character, you must focus on if the that female character is just a good character. Because in the end, a good character isn't defined by their gender, race, or even sexuality, because if the character is good, then it wouldn't matter what the character is, and we can only hope that shonen as a medium can evolve and be more than just the male fantasy and can be a fantasy everyone can enjoy. And no, not sexualizing female characters does not fix the issue. You could still have a good character even if you do that, and that's the issue here. Your fo people focus too much on the wrong thing to fix poorly written female characters. That is my stance on why I think the misconception of women in anime isn't just the fact that, oh, people don't understand them, but also they don't understand how to actually properly solve the solution. Instead, they focus on the wrong issues to then fix them.